Oh, guys, Jurassic here. Today we're back to Marvel Spider-Man. All units, report of a break-in. Backup requested near... You might have heard about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. He's back. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible, demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. You're on with J. Jonah James. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like prejudice. Wrong. Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. I know all I need to about Spider-Man. He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans, and a flashy costume so he gets attention to feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. Now, if I'm a mentally unstable person, and I see him getting all this coverage, what am I going to do? It's called copycat behavior, people, and it's ruining New York. There's the stage entrance, and we'll be right out front. Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. Well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Come on, honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so? Such exemplary citizens I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, I would like, to hand like it over, to over? over? I'm, I mean... There's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends? Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know... But Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis, with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes? I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass. I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer.
Spider-Man the last one who reacted in that? Miles! Miles, are you okay? There's no way he's dead. All right, so we're playing as Officer Davis's son now. Okay, so he can bolt over like Spider-Man, so that's cool. should have stayed put there, buddy. Mom! Especially without spider string. You're not going to be able to do that. Damn it! Get leverage. Hurry! Think. Flipping! There we go. Now we should be able to do it. Nice going, kid. Are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you, are you okay? I'm all right, Mom. Okay. I'm all right. Okay. You sure you're okay? Yes, I'm gonna be all right. Uh, I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna be all right. All right, Lisa. I, I, I love you. I have to go find Dad, okay? No, wait. Miles, no. Miles, no! You're safe, Mom. I'm peacing out. I'll find him. All right, so we need to find a new path across. So we can go that way. Oh, up and over. Perfect. Baby, stay here. Please. Yeah, it's alive. I know it. So I'm wondering, since he was so close to Peter Parker, if maybe his blood would be like the Hulk. In the alternate universe, he's supposed to be a version of Spider-Man. So I'm wondering if they're going to go with Spider-Man's blood got on his. And somehow he got infected with the spider veins and now has spider powers. <laughs> kind of iffy on his origin story, though, so I'm not entirely sure if that's comic accurate or not. That dude got messed up. <laughs> Maybe we should wait. Alright, so I'm assuming we gotta wait for that dude to turn to the left. There we go. Gotta find a way around these guys. Can't cross yet. So we don't have any powers, so we can't like web sling across or anything. Great, now we're playing as the clumsy spider. Well, let's see here. Looks like up and around. This is just brutal. 
All right, so as long as they don't look up, we should be good. There's no reason for them to look up, so I think we're fine. Yeah, looks perfect. Looks like a little bit of the city's getting destroyed. Spider-Man must still be sleeping. All right, so we're going to have to wait for their flashlights to look to the left. So we're going to have to wait on that dude and then book it over to... Looks like the right side? Dad was right there. Gotta help him. Well, unless you have magic powers now. or a gun, I don't think you can do it. Glass bottles. Are we just supposed to run up there? I don't see how we're supposed to do anything. That's real smart. No. No. Enough. We have to leave now. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were going to say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Don't worry, it's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry, I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. So it is kind of weird that we went as Peter Parker. I feel like if Spider-Man said that same thing, he would have a totally different reaction. Sorry, Jeff. I'm busy. What's up? Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy. Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. I'm thinking I screwed up, and that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. 
Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Uh, that was a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. Alright, so let's see. No one believes us. We need to get evidence. And are we going to let anyone at the feast know? MJ's hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. Alright, so there's pigeons all over the place. Alright, so that's all danger. We could zip over to the other side. Alright, so he's safe. Get over to this side. It's a little bit too far away. What? Oh, come on. It was safe when we clicked it originally. I'm glad we hit you in the face with that box. Go and toss this at him. Hold on, so let's make it over to this other side. Beat up this dude real quick. Flop over to our web grenades. Beat him up. Boom. Toss that around. That should web the big dude and have him stuck to the wall. Now he's locked up and secured. We don't have to worry about him. Okay. Is that it? That's all of them. All right, so now all we got to do is break inside the building. Oh, high security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe but there's the power lines like before. Power from. All right, so there we go. Electrical box is over here. Looks like I could rip it open. Need my electric webs. Wait, hey, yeah. Did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice. Panels are already open. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Got close. Over here on the side. Gotcha. Almost there. One more box should do it. Okay, and the last box is behind these cylinders over here. Uh huh. Can go that way. All right, so let's just climb inside this little window here. All right, so there's a vent up top here, so we should be able to zip over to this, break him through there, and then hop all the way down. Oh man, guns from Fisk's armory. Good. I mean, at least we found some of the supplies. Truck bombs? This is crazy. New trucks. Buy bombs. Where are we supposed to be? I guess that's just a blueprint on what they're actually designing, but I'm wondering what they're going to target. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. Lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my God. And it looks like they're planning another attack. 
This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. <sighs> be careful. All the way across town. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. I feel like taking a camera out and, you know, sending her a couple pictures just in case someone actually did go and clean up after we beat up all the men, that would have been a smarter idea. So if he's cleaning up loose ends, he's just going to burn the building anyways by the time she gets there. And the other question, is Mayor Osborne a good guy in this game? Consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. So is that just a regular civilian? Wait, what? You can now craft a trip mine. Laser activated web trap that instantly incapacitates enemies. Oh, that's super cool. I found at the recycling center. Nice. Nice. Love using bad guys own weapons against them. Okay, so apparently that dude is not a good guy. And that, my friends, is what karmic justice looks like. I mean, we could just do this, but I was really hoping that mine would go off. I mean, that kind of worked out. I didn't mean to do it like that, but nice. All right, so he's taken care of. Now it's going to be the hard part. So let's just climb up the building real quick and see what we got. Maybe they won't know? They look like they're kind of looking around, but not really. He's safe. I think we're good. All right, so we'll latch you onto the wall. I mean, this dude's safe, so we should be able to take him out. They were just sort of yelling, but they're not actually notified that we're here. So we got the trim mine here. It's so like that's green. If we do that. I didn't work at all. <laughs> all right, well, he's safe, so that's good to go. Oh, on earth did that dude jump up that high? What? So that dude's safe, but he's not anywhere near a purse so we can get. There we go. Nice. All right, so he's taken out. All right, so that, man, eh, whatever. We'll just start killing people. There's only two of them left. We mostly did it stealthy. Not sure why that tripwire wasn't working. Oh, is he still alive? No one even noticed we were here. We're good. He's not out here. Better check inside. All right, so let's break open the door. You know, we could have just opened it regularly. They have bases all around the city. What all right, so those are going to be like mini strongholds. Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. Hold that thought. 
let's see here. Shockwebs are out. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. Wait, what? Well, that actually works. Use throwables on whips. Oh, okay. So it stunts him, basically. He whips himself. There we go. So every time he grabs his face to yank the webs off, he sort of shocks himself. That works out. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. All right, so it looks like he's sending in a little bit of men around here. <laughs> that dude got messed up. No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Ride. Sounds familiar. But I'll check it out and get back to you. All right, so hold on. Spider drone. That not spider drone? Yeah. See, swap this around. Boom. Seems like even though I'm clicking on some of the PC controls for it, it doesn't actually swap over. So that definitely might be something on PC that needs a little bit of work. They did just have an update recently, too. All right, so dude with the whip is now up top. So that's interesting. You can't actually do a finisher move on the guys with the whip. All right, so take him out. <laughs> All right, so hold on. So we need to swap over to a web that can actually work. There we go. So he's taken out. That's going to be our main guy. Get a little bit of web on this dude, and that should allow us to flip him over. And let's see here. Can we grab something? Break him. He's not going to be waking up. Copy, Silverbird. We're descending to location. There's another one. Safety's off. Well, this is new. Uh! No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a... Hey! That's not how we do things. Down! Down! Code SM1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy Code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. Nice entrance. Solid 8 out of 10. Nine out of 10. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. A private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. Your men can't be that good if you made me sit here and beat everybody up for you. Just saying. Hey, sorry about that stable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. 
Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this. And what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.